What's happening, everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. Hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to the channel. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if you have time. Today we have the final review on the loaned in drop bear from Lefty EDC. It is time to pass this guy on. Uh, in the short time that I had it, this thing has really opened up my eyes on what Kaiser is capable of. And then in the meantime of having this, I got the Escort, which is its older brother. And they came out relatively around the same time older brother meaning just the bigger brother basically uh this is in 20 cv this is in 20 cv uh they both are phenomenal and i see myself having a drop bear very soon it's a it's just a different knife even though uh you know they have the same locking mechanism it's just a it's a different feel in hand it is uh, the one I'm going to be getting when I do is going to be an LMAX. So it's going to be a completely different steel. They just feel completely different. You have a completely different blade shape. This is more of a spear point, whereas the Escort is more of a straight back or a drop point. But... This thing has been phenomenal. Uh, I really, really like this. And if Kaiser continues to put out products like this, they are going to submit and concrete their value to the knife community. Uh, you know, they've kind of stayed in the budget realm. For the most part, they do have higher end knives, but if they continue putting knives like this out and keep putting premium knives out, not only will they solidify the budget world, but they are going to be moving into the more premium realm as well. And they're going to be kicking some ass uh, if they do so. Uh, I have went over my Benchmades, my Hogs, things that have amazing crossbar locks and this thing is just phenomenal uh the handle material is phenomenal this toxic storm fat carbon the 20 cv from what i've used is just flat out amazing i haven't gotten to carry or use this as much as i would like to of uh, being as it's not my knife, there are other people in line to review this knife. I wasn't about to beat it up and then send it on its way. But uh, I have cut, you know, some cardboard with it. Uh, it might need actually touched up at this point. But uh, no, it's still, it's still slicing. It's still doing very well. I won't say it is, I think, and I'm pretty sure when I got it, if I'd have to look back on that video, but I'm pretty sure when I got it, it wasn't the sharpest. Uh, I think Lefty might have used it a little bit before I got my hands on it. We'll get some quick specs on this guy here. And it's coming around like a hundred and seven thousandths, and then boy, it's coming down around like twelve thousandths right there, twelve to thirteen thousandths right there. And the other awesome thing about this knife is it's very lightweight. So not only I think just if this edge was touched up a little bit you would have one hell of a slicer. So it's coming in like 3.4 ounces, which is not 
that's not much at all. That's super lightweight in my book. Uh, so especially when you have a three inch blade like you have here, a little over seven inches overall coming down around seven and an eighth. So it's a good medium sized knife. Uh, this would be a good backup to your primary carry, or this could be a nice main carry as well, depending. I wouldn't use this as my main carry myself, but I would have no problem keeping this as my secondary knife, uh, which I always have at least two, if not three. But as I said earlier, this will be moving on. Uh, along with the O knife that I have in the CMB. I did shout him out in a previous video, but it's going to Alex814 EDC. He doesn't live far from me. Uh, go over and check him out. And while I'm on that, head over and check out Grumpy Grunt. I do have a link for him down below as well as Alex. And Head over and check out Duties Daggers, D-O-O-D-Y-S, Daggers. He's got an awesome new channel that he has started, and he's uh, amassing a nice little following over there. Really nice dude, really cool dude. He's got a unique perspective on things, and I enjoy his content, and I think many of you would as well. So back to... The review here, you do have a black washed, which Kaiser does an amazing job on their black washed blades. It's probably one of my favorite finishes on uh, blade steel. You can see it there in the light. It just, they do it very well. Uh, you know, and you got that nice spear point blade here. The carbon, the fat carbon looks phenomenal uh this i it's grown on me when i first saw pictures of any of the toxic storm it wasn't really my jam but after getting it it does it, it is really nice it's really well done and it's grown on me quite a bit since getting this uh so and and either way it's very well finished, very well done. You can see the layers there, uh, very cool. And then you have a nice deep carry pocket clip here. And I think it is titanium, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I do have a magnet that I'm gonna start using to test those things. Uh, the one thing you gotta be careful of, not with pocket clips so much, but other things, is aluminum is also you know non-magnetic so sometimes titanium aluminum can be confused with titanium so you got to be careful with that uh, but typically you know on a higher end knife typically it's going to be titanium but i have seen where on a 200 dollars knife they do use an aluminum backspacer or whatever but uh I'm pretty sure that's titanium, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the aesthetic is perfect. It, it looks awesome. The ergos for medium, large, extra large hands, I think this is going to be perfect. Uh, even with larger sized hands, I fit on here, no problem. Especially choked up there, no problem. But uh, even if you had bigger hands than me, I think you would be completely fine. Uh, you know, if you got huge, huge hands, then you might want to just bump it up to the Escort at that point. Unless you really like this design and blade shape. But it's very comfortable. Very well done. Uh, you know, if you're interested in the fidget factor, it's there all day long. Easy to do. The thumb studs are comfortable for the thumb flick, the reverse flick. The lock is awesome. The clutch lock that Kaiser is now using. Very, very fidgety. 
Uh, so you will have no problem doing that if you end up getting one of these. And I definitely recommend this knife in the short time that I've had it. I definitely recommend it. The one I've been on, they have, I believe, an aluminum and 154. They have 20 CV. This one, the 20 CV. They have an LMAX one. And they might even have another one as well. I'm interested in the LMAX. It's got like a dark matter, I think, fat carbon. It's blue and black carbon fiber. I don't know exactly what carbon fiber it is. But that's the one I've been eyeing up and will probably end up with. Uh, the sounds, very tactile. I'll be quiet. Very tactile, very smooth. Uh, nice little tactile pop. Nice click on the close, which is typical of a crossbar lock. And I would say this has better action and sounds than most crossbar locks. This is at the top of the food chain when it comes to a crossbar lock in my opinion and I have a bunch of them now there's some that are right there and there's some knives that are just ahead of it but you know there are some bench maids that are just as good if not a touch better uh, and then some of the hogs are real you know the crossbar locks are getting very good these days and I do have a video planned on the crossbar locking knives uh, sadly, I won't be able to get to it before this is gone and the other O-Knife with the, the Kaiser clutch lock. I don't know what O-Knife is calling it, but I won't be able to get that done before I have to send these off. I've already had them longer than probably I should have, but uh, Alex is awesome and he has not minded me hanging on to them a little bit longer. I just, uh, I'm not used to having to rush something, you know, an unboxing, a first impressions, even an overview is fine to jump into, but as far as getting a review done on something, uh, I hate doing that, uh, so quickly, but when you have a loner, you don't have much of a choice. And, you know, I've been able to make the separation of, okay, it's a short-term review, you know, a couple weeks, less than a month. And, you know, as I buy knives or the longer I have a certain knife, then I will do, you know, a short, mid, and long-term type review. So that way people know, uh, you know, how things hold up over time. But uh, as far as the Kaiser drop bar here, I would say Kaiser has a true winner. Um, and that's why these were so hard to get when they first came out. I think once people got them in hand, they were completely sold out everywhere. And then they put out a couple exclusive type knives like this one and the LMAX one. They weren't exclusive per se, but more premium they were gone instantly they were hard to get a hold of they're starting to come around now though uh, especially the base model but even the base model would be a phenomenal knife in the 154 if you want to go a little more premium you can get the 20 cv or the l max so you just i don't think going even from the budget to the most premium one of these Either one is going to be a, a winner in my book. So that'll wrap it up, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. I hope this helps somebody along the way. If you stuck through the whole thing, thank you. I love you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you would before you head out. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed,
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Love y'all. Catch you later.